Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Monday, February 10th. Nice comeback last week, bounce back, actually closed positive on the week after making some new multi-month relative lows. The S&P last week was up 0.8% on the week, closed at 1793.5, up 27 after we saw that reversal on Wednesday where we saw that bullish divergence, the volatility did not make new highs, but the market made new lows. We've gone straight up ever since. The Dow futures up 190 on Friday, 15,739, a 0.6% gain on the week. The Nasdaq was a big winner, up almost 2% on Friday, 35.58, up 71. Dollar index down 24, 80.76. That pushed the euro currency up, 136.28, up 41. Gained 165 points on the euro uh, last week. Looking at bonds, up 9, 133.10, still holding strong. Year, uh, the the uh, crude oil market was up 204, 99.88, printed above 100, $100 a barrel for the first time since December. And gold, holding strong, up six, 12.63. Gold gained $23 on the week as it maintains up here above the 12.50 level. So after the record week last week, where do things stand here Monday morning, Monday fun day? Well, we're down five, we're down about a quarter percent, 1788 in the E-mini S&P, down 40 in the Dow Futures, 15,699, and we're down four at 3554 right now in the NASDAQ. Currencies are steady, dollars unchanged, we're up two ticks in the euro currency, 136.31. And like I said, we gained 165 points last week. We're back above that 136 threshold. Looking at bonds, uh, down two ticks right now. 367 is the yield on the 30-year, 267 is the yield on the 10-year note. So you've seen it bounce a little bit here uh, with the uh, market recovery here last week. Crude oil down 40 cents at 99.50, below $100 a barrel. And gold leading the way up $10 at 1273. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're steady to a little lower in the uh, stock indexes right now, down a quarter percent at 1788 in the E-mini S&P, down five and down 40 in the Dow futures. I will see you early Tuesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.